breaking right now at 11 on CBS News Philadelphia. Video shows the chaos in Center City tonight after large groups ransacked store after store, many getting away with bags of merchandise. This is the aftermath outside the Foot Locker store at 15th and Chestnut scattered glass items all over the floor. Tonight, police say they have made multiple arrests. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. CBS News Philadelphia's Siafa Lewis is live at police headquarters. And Siafa, this looting comes on the heels of a protest over charges being dropped in the fatal police shooting of Eddie Irizarry. But police are telling us the two are not connected. Yeah, police stressing that point when they spoke to CBS News Philadelphia. But you can just a disappointing night to say the least here in Philadelphia as groups of mostly young people went on a, went on looting sprees and broke into storefronts at several center city stores as well as in Port Richmond. At roughly 8.30 Tuesday night, we received information about the Foot Locker on Chestnut Street being broken into and ransacked. Once we arrived, we spoke to a security guard working at an establishment next door. Fortunately, it just ended up getting looted. A couple of kids decided they wanted to take full advantage of the unjust shooting that's happening. They ended up did um, assaulting the guard next door and decided they wanted to break in and enter inside the store. A few seconds later, as you can see, the young boys is coming right back now, so they're getting ready to... Uh, Double back again, but it's been definitely unrest around here since the verdict. Uh, we just trying to make sure everything is safe and everybody is secure. There was also looting captured on camera at the Lululemon store on Walnut Street in Rittenhouse. Philadelphia police were able to apprehend a handful of perpetrators at that scene as they exited the building. And north in Port Richmond, Chopper 3 captured video of an arrest outside of a GameStop, which too had been ransacked and looted. Now, you can just we want to reiterate that sources tell CBS News Philadelphia that police have no information connecting tonight, tonight's lawlessness with the peaceful protest held earlier this evening at City Hall as a response to all charges being dropped against former officer Mark Dial in the shooting death of Eddie Irizarry. At police headquarters, Siafa Lewis, CBS News, Philadelphia. Siafa, thank you for that. Looting was also reported in West Philly. Our chopper was over the Family Dollar Store at 52nd and Jefferson. You can see the large police presence outside the store.